This story begins a while ago. I wanted to learn this lock to generate command and world in it, particularly using Perlin Noise. I don't know why exactly, but I do remember there was barely any up-to-date documentation. For a world edit, that is. I could only find this stuff for Fa. Despite it being a world edit for 3 to 11 years is my best guess. But what is, like, Perla noise and why should I care? It's basically like a type of gradient noise, which I believe is one of three different types of noise built into world edit. The other two are Ridge Multi and Vervrani. I don't know if I pronounced that. And why should you care? Well, I read the title and you. But if you want some specifics, here are a few. You can make infinitely expandable terrain, texture builds, and make some satisfying patterns, I guess. Uh, distort any shape that can be represented by a formula or any build really and then you can show off to your friends that you can make a build with math they don't before i start i just want to say there's this wonderful guide with gifts and everything that i used to learn these tricks link is in the description before we get into perlin noise we need to understand slash slash generate slash slash generate is like a fun command when you know how to use it it basically works by creating a mask out of the equation that you gave it. So it'll add a block to the mask if the equation of inequality is true. This is the same with like slash mask and slash g mask if you put in it put it in an equation by putting an equal sign in front of it. Okay, so Perlin noise. Let's do it. There are a few parameters you need to learn about Perlin noise. They are the seed, coordinates, frequency, octaves, persistence, and threshold. The seed's the simplest, it's just like the seed to your Minecraft world. It can be any number that you put into the function. The coordinates are what you'd expect, just where you take your sample of noise. You can do some math on it to get some nice results, like dividing it to stretch it on that axis. Frequency is basically how densely packed the noise is. And octaves and persistence is kind of funky because octaves is like how many different noise functions you run on top of it, and then persistence is the weight of each of those noise functions. Threshold isn't like a perimeter itself, but it basically is one. So for each block, the function spits out a number between 0 and 1. And in the guide I mentioned before, it doesn't say this, but the threshold is the other half of the equation in slash less generate. If this threshold is like, say, less than or equal to 0.5, then any values equal to 0.5 or less than it will be added to the mask. But if, the, but the threshold doesn't even have to be like an inequality, it can be an equation too. It might be hard finding a block with like a perfect value. <laughs> the threshold can be quite fun, like including variables in it. So like, why you can add to the threshold as it increases, as it goes up. You can do quite a lot with Perlin noise and the variables, actually. So how do you use this stuff in a build? There's like so many ways to use it. Like, if you're like me and extremely lazy, you can use it to add texture to builds or make terrain like this method, method by Melon BP, which I'm not entirely sure how it works, but there are some other fun patterns like height maps or making each tenth interval a different color, which makes some like tie-dye like patterns. And then distorting shapes is extremely easy. Just like add a small bit of pearl and noise to the axis by making the x, y, and z plus equal the noise. It makes the shape almost look malformed. No way, so like it makes this sphere look like a river. Thanks for watching if you're still here. I'll see you next time and when I find something interesting to talk about. This has been Using Math in Your Builds and thanks for watching.